Brilliant. Okay, uh, so let's get started. And as I say, different format for this, um, we're going to speak to Carl Hancock, um, who's an author, illustrator of her work. Um, and the first question I have for was a little sort of general one about, so you, you do lots of things, but one of them is picture books. Um, and just about how close kind of fiction featuring your work as an illustrator for adults or for children. Um, Question. <laughs> <laughs> just have a feature in your work. Okay, yeah. Um, I would describe being as being a bit like everything on a film set. Um, so you're doing everything of sort of creating your world, dressing like the set and everything that goes within it, and obviously clothes are important. I mean, most of my early books had animals in, so I didn't really need to worry about what they were dressed in because it was just their cat. Okay. Um, but like more and more, some of my books have like humans. Now I'm getting used to drawing people and things like that. Um, so I would say it's like a really important element. It's obviously in your work, um, um, I don't. I, most of the characters I've drawn have been adults, so I wouldn't necessarily know if like, I mean there's kids in this page. Um, so there's elements where I think as long as it sort of goes with the story um, and it fits, I would say that it's quite a big, well, it is a big role. Um, but originally when I started, I became an illustrator. Um, so at art school, you get like, I don't know, three months to get to try everything. So like just liner, photography, everything, and, and textiles and stuff. And I really wanted to be a fashion designer at that point because I was like, the stacks of road, and I was like, yeah, that is what I want to do. Uh, but I also really like the drawing element, and then the test element, and the textiles. So, and I remember the two tutors between 2D and 3D were sort of like, you need to do 3D, no, you need to do 3D. <laughs> um, and I think I chose the 2D element because I realized the drawing, you can then apply it to the fashion or the textiles. And, um, so it kind of, whereas if I had just gone in and learned the knitwear, um, not saying it's anything good, isn't it? Well, but like it is that is the one sort of element. Um, so illustration lends itself. You can put a picture on a t-shirt, or you can then create some outrageous outfit from your mind and draw it. Even though I would have no idea how to actually physically create it. Um, so yeah, it's got a, a good role in the game. Um, um, I love the idea about what maybe now I can make such for wider. You know, white girls doing animal training Um, cool. Okay. Um, and I think we went with the with the real clothes that you see. Um, either you know, if you were drawing children, children's clothes or you know, age or significant characters or other clothes, with the real outfits influence what you put in your books. Yes. And how that works? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um. And you even just couldn't hear like waiting at the train station. I think about that most of people watching. Um, like today, I complimented nearly every one of you. I'm like, oh, I like your dress. I like your shoes. So the same, I'm like, oh, like, like, where's your shoes? I was like, okay. When I draw a trainer next, it's not just white with a like a red sole or something. Um, just a bit more inventive because you know, it plays back in that um, picture book. The sort of the first book could see, so it's their sort of welcome to the world. Um, so it's got to be sort of embedded in reality, even if it is a fantastical story you're trying to uh, tell. Um, so yeah, every, like, I'll see things and go, oh, I like that. It might not necessarily be the whole outfit, it might be, I like the colour of it or the shape. Um, and I, I do, I've do, been doing a series of paintings in the last few years where it's like a parade of people. Um, so like it's a line of different people wearing the most ridiculous outfits, mainly because I know I will never wear those outfits. Um, in my head, I would love to be one of those amazing fashionistas with like shoulder pads over hair and like jewelry, and but I know I'm just a t-shirt and jeans person. <laughs> and so I think it's my inner, inner fashion person, a way of exploring that, but without having to get ridiculed for wearing it. If that makes sense. <laughs> um, and yeah, and like the colour and textures of things, um, yeah, just, it's like a little bank of things in my head of things I've seen. Um, like I used to religiously like read clothes and stuff, but now, I mean, it's great because you've got Instagram and Pinterest, so like, you can find it out on Pinterest. <laughs> like, I mean, 
Yeah. There's one with the hanging balls and things yeah. like that, which I'm actually, I've always been fascinated by that. Well, these aren't actually, uh, the, I don't think they're, I think, they don't survive. Yeah, no. I don't think, I think I just got a postcard and I was like, oh my God. <coughs> There's been recreations of yeah. them and things like that. But yeah, I mean, what, what did the kids think of it? Like, well, I think, I will say, I, I remember it from, I don't know when the book came out, 2018, 19, so I don't, I've not really done any events of it. So I've not, um, I'm, okay. so I haven't had any first hand feedback. But um, I've done a few things. But they're, they're they're not interested in telling me about what their favourite thing to wear is okay. when I have done it. Um, but it would I would be interested to know what they think. They probably just. Because I'm just like I'm like I'm just interested in what they think the performance it comes from is. Yeah. Because like some of the others, I think obviously the ballerina, maybe the middle kind of character doesn't kind of work out. Maybe yeah. the kind of you know. But I just I wonder if I can. I just wonder what they would do with it. Like, yeah. Yeah, it's quite interesting. What they think. I'll see back if I ever find out. Yeah, please. Uh, the cat, the cat's going to fall again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. That was brilliant. You have a good time.